Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the siblings. So we have learned about the children's parent and all those things we have learned. The only one option that is remaining is while traversing the dorm, that is nothing but siblings. So what is by siblings? So what we have learned about the siblings? We already have a, had a general discussion about the siblings. What are what are the siblings and which nodes are called as the siblings and all those things we have already discussed it. Let's try to do a little bit of recap. <clears throat> Let me open the slideshow. Yeah. In this video, we will discuss about the siblings. We know that siblings are just elements that share the same parent. Whoever is having the same parent, the children's which belong to the same parent. Those are all children which belongs to the same parent. Those are called as the siblings. So we can say that siblings are just kind of brothers and sisters. So they are located in the same tree level within the dom. Here what we are, I can say siblings means nothing but we can say it as a brothers and sisters. They are located on the same tree level within the dom. Siblings don't have to be of the same type. Nodes higher than a sibling are called ancestors and those below it are called descendants. So here the siblings means so you cannot think that the siblings all the siblings are of the same node type. So that means let's say that uh, it should be something like all the thing all the nodes should be element nodes or text nodes like that. Don't think like that. So if they are siblings means so you can have a text node element node comment node like that. So any type of uh, nodes we can have. So that is the thing siblings don't have to be of the same type. So they, the Siblings can be of different different types. There are few methods we can use to access the previous siblings and the next siblings like previous sibling, next sibling, previous element sibling, next element sibling. So these are some of the methods which we can use it in the DOM for accessing the siblings. So the common methods are which we can see is previous sibling. So that means when you want to access the previous sibling, we use this previous sibling next sibling and previous element sibling so you'll we'll try to learn the difference between these all the two yeah, between these all the four previous sibling next sibling and previous element sibling and next element sibling so these are most of the people doesn't know so these front end developers or anything any developers so most of the people doesn't know these difference between this previous sibling and the previous element sibling these are all the methods what is the difference between those methods most of the people doesn't have any idea about this one now in this video we will see what is the what is the major difference between these all things so these are called as in siblings. Let's see with a simple example. Here I'm having the UL items. So let's try to take this UL items. So UL element in this UL element we are having three siblings. So here Li, Li, these three are called as in siblings for two one and each other. For the UL, these three allies are children. Now for this for this one, I'm applying style is equal to background color. So this is a bad uh, way of using but uh, just for dem demonstration i am using green so some color i am trying to give so background color green let's see the output if i try to see the output here for the item two so here i am able to see the green color now what i want to do here so this item two i want to catch this item two and for this item two so here you will be having the previous sibling that is nothing but item one and the next sibling is item three so let's try to catch this item two and traverse through the next sibling and the previous sibling and try to apply some background color to the previous sibling and also to the next sibling. So let's see it here. So for accessing this one, so first let's go to the UL element document dot. So we will be using get elements by tag name Why? because we are having only one thing with the tag name of UL. So that is the reason I am taking the UL. So here we got the UL item. So this returns an HTML collection written type and here you are having ul as an array so in order to catch this one so what you need to do so as an element so you need to take it as ul of zero so then you can able to catch this ul element so now in order to catch the children's in order to get all the children's of this ul element what you need to do you have a method that is nothing but children property and you and you click on this one children you will be able to get all all lot of these all the things for example, if you try to take child nodes, so what you will get, you will get all the nodes which are available in the <clears throat> all the children's, including the text nodes and all those things you will be able to get. Here you will also have the combination of these allies also. But if you want to get only the element uh, nodes means then you need to use the children. So we got the li elements 
and in this one we know that <coughs> middle item so in order to get this one what we need to do ul of 0 ul of 0 dot children of 0 of 1 so now we can able to catch the middle element this is the middle element let's try to save this one in the in one variable let middle is equal to ul of 0 dot children of 1 okay so we got the middle element so here we got the middle element now we need to find the previous sibling previous sibling means item 1 so here I, what i can do here middle dot previous sibling so i am taking the previous sibling so now if you see middle dot previous sibling if i try to apply we are getting a text node instead of getting the item 1 element we are getting a text node so here if you try to see uh, the node value is slash n so this is how we are getting is so this is our l item right the previous sibling means the white space whatever the white space here left out so this white space we are getting it as a text node so in order to get this one so what can i do he here i can also add in a such a way that so we got the previous sibling dot previous sibling we can also use pre dot previous sibling then we'll get an li item so like this also we can get it so this is the main uh, difference between the previous sibling and the previous element sibling now when i am trying to use the previous sibling we are getting the text node and dot previous sibling if i am trying to apply on the same thing so we are getting the li but instead of using this one so we need to get a sibling which is an element node so then you can use middle dot previous element sibling so this is the li so now this is the li item so now we are able to get a previous element sibling what i can do here i will apply middle dot previous element sibling dot style dot background color i can apply this background color is equal to pink or red or anything whichever i want i can apply see automatically the pink color has been applied so using the previous element sibling in the same scenario we got the middle element <coughs> we need to get the next element sibling so here if i try to use middle dot next sibling so if i try to get the next sibling the same as usual scenario we'll get the text node so if i try to use again another next sibling then you'll get an li item instead of using this one what i can do middle dot next element sibling now i will get the item 3 element now what i can do here middle dot next element sibling dot style dot background color i can apply this background color where is this background yeah background color background color is equal to red so now i have applied red so like this we can catch so this is the difference between the previous sibling next sibling or previous element sibling and the next element sibling so we need to understand the difference between those two when to use the which method we need to understand clearly now hope you understood about this one so these are all about the sibling concept so we have learned about the children's concept child nodes so we have learned about the parent <coughs> and also the siblings also previous sibling these are the siblings also we have learned so these are all other different types so how we traverse the dom so hope you understood about the sibling concept if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you